want to start it off? What you all set on, Rich? Um, I'm all set on two things. Talk to me. We already spoke about one. I'm all set on Dredd. She's an evil Trish. Mm-hmm. And I'm all set on the U.S. Congress. <laughs> there needs to be an age limit on serving on public servitude. Y'all niggas is too old, bro. Fact. Watch Joe Biden State of the Union. I didn't watch it. I seen, I didn't watch it. I saw clips. So clips of Joe Biden State of the Union. He's too fucking old. Everybody in that room is too fucking old. Yeah. It's like it's like being at a senior citizens convention, bro. I'm looking around. They panning around the room. All these old white people, old black people, dead. They're not even your mother's age. They're your grandmother's age, bro. Yeah, yeah. You feel These me? Niggas is mad old. They're bro. mad old. Extremely old. Like they look like they need what's that shit? Medic with the medic bracelet shit they be having. The, uh, the if if you might fall if you I fall. I had that shit when I was in the hospital, man. I know exactly what you. Like yo, about. if you might fall, they caught. They know they got all your vitals right there. Like if you slip and fall, they got you type shit. Like everybody in the room need one of them joints, man. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like, we have to put an age limit. We have to. There has to be a law. Just like you have to be a certain age to become these people, you have to have a certain age where you have to bow out, B. Nah, I feel you. The co- feel the, 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 the the cognition of your brain doesn't click the same after a certain age. It's scientific. Yep. Yo, yo, yo. We back at it. Another joint. Episode 151. 151. Yeah, you know I mean, your good brother Rich is here. I'm in the building. I got the Brody with me. I'm here, fresh out of Rice Street, fresh out of High Spot, I'm a long week, man. Talk to you. What? Boy. His <laughs> intro is nasty. <laughs> it's a nasty intro. What? You know, we got, I like to be transparent with the people, man. It's that, you know I mean, you, you ain't heard from us in a couple weeks, so it's been a long two weeks for your boy, man. But I'm back here. I'm in the flesh. They try to take me down. I'm going to go see the Juju lady, get whatever bad energy I got over me. I feel like it's like a dark gray cloud right now. Send free your spiritual baths. Please, please. I need I need the stones. I need all that. I just say the crib, spray some Palo Salto, but we won't go to the lady. To, you know what I mean? I did highlight it while I was waiting on you. I just called her, left a message. You know what I mean? So <laughs> let you know I'm fucking serious. It's been a long week for your boy, bro. Right Street is the worst street in America. I want to start by saying that. Um, I don't mean to. I don't mean to laugh at your pain, but the streets are saying you bust your cherry. That was my second time at Right Street. <laughs> luckily for me, um, and I don't want no more times. Luckily for me, I ran into a Morehouse nigga there. He's a CEO. You know, Morehouse niggas love being CEOs. That's what we do. Shit. Morehouse niggas is gonna be a part of upholding the law. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. That's they why they gonna you... be a lawyer. or They are gonna be like on the ground and CEO shit. Yeah. Or they might be a cop. No, they might. Oh yeah, they got... <laughs> that's it, man. Morehouse, Morehouse, AUC niggas period is gonna be in a part of upholding the law in Fulton County in Georgia in general. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's gonna be a nigga behind the behind the uh, judicial gavel. You mm-hmm. heard? It's gonna be a nigga. On the on the prosecutor side, yes. or on the defender on side, both, either side, either bro. side, they're on both it's sides. Gonna be, they're gonna be Might in be the a back nigga doing the minutes. Yeah, it's yeah gonna be mean? a nigga doing the minutes. It's gonna be a nigga in the back pushing paper, pushing the paperwork around. For sure, you know what I'm saying? For they, sure, they all infiltrated all throughout the whole shit. Nah, they they definitely do. Um, you know what I'm but yeah, shout out to him. He helped me down. My name Gaffney. You know what I'm saying? Lieutenant Gav, me, let me chill on the outside. He ain't had me and that's another thing. Niggas got, niggas got little titles. Niggas mm-hmm. just lieutenants and all Lieutenant type of extra Gaffney crazy shit. And all that. I'm like, okay, I'm that's here. Why, Shout out to you, baby. That's why I've always put good school school affiliations on the back of my whips. You got to. You already know what time it is with me. You got to. It's me only alone. right. It's only right. But yeah, right shit is disgusting. Like They got to do something about that over there. It's like wild and humane. Nah, I mean, you know, it's regular. They do that shit on purpose, you know what I'm saying? Inspire you to not come back. I mean, yeah, but it's it's not regular about it. I When I say, man, I just feel like it's just filthy, dirty as fuck. Yeah, that's the whole point. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's not supposed to feel good, but I've been to other jails and it wasn't as that, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it's Rice Street, though. It's the grimiest, it's the grimiest jail in the world. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not the world. Nah, in America, listen, though. when I was, the, in like, America, the, the, for the sure. four days I was there, you know, you start talking to niggas, and, like, one nigga I was talking to <laughs> who was, like, I've been at, like, every jail across the America, and he was like, yo, Rice Street is just, like, the filthiest, nastiest shit he ever been to. Yeah, and he's mean, some super thug, gang-banging nigga from Cali. You know what I mean? So... Yo, when you get to talking to the jail niggas and the amount of jail they've been to, like, yo, fam, crazy. what's up you with you like, your jail going? <laughs> Yo, you be and then you start looking at yourself like, what the fuck am I doing here next to these type of niggas? Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, we all make mistakes. Obviously, I did shit wasn't right, tag wasn't right, whatever. Whoop, whoop. But like you said, when you start talking to some of them niggas, them niggas is like super jail niggas. Like, yeah. 
mad years, in and out. Yeah. Half the niggas in intake was in there for attempt murders and all yeah. kind of goofy shit. A, a little it's the bit young of, niggas. A little bit of jail always tightens you up. You know what I mean? A yeah. like, little bit of jail, a little bit make of sure jail. A little bit of, it's sad I had to go to jail to make sure all my paperwork. Yeah, together. a little bit of, you know what I mean, interaction with niggas at the, at the bottom rungs of society. A little r- shoulder rubbing with niggas at the bottom rungs would tighten you up ASAP. Like, mm-hmm. all right, let me, let me, let me focus up. End up with like one of these niggas, B. Yeah, absolutely, you bro. You know what I mean? Absolutely. But they say without a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of, I don't be one you of them. I need one of them shits in Rice Street. You know yeah. what I mean? And they serving niggas cold oat, uh, grits and bologna sandwiches. Uh, yeah, get, get, get in tune with your bologna vibes, man. You got to double up on the bologna. They, they give you two sandwiches, don't even bother with the extra bread. Just double up on the loney. Yeah. It's I, nasty. Yeah, it's nasty. I ain't and, shit for four days, but yeah. <laughs> Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it, my boy. Couldn't do it. Yo, I don't even want to get into that. Yo, that's hilarious. You know what I mean? 500 pounds, Sally nigga, roaches on the floor and shit. <laughs> that nigga slept on the floor. I'm like, all right. He was like, I don't know if I could fit on the bed. I'm like, all right. Okay. All right, well, knock yourself out, homie. I'm yeah. not sleeping on nobody's fucking floor. Yo, man. Shit <laughs> crazy. Shout out, to, shout out to the jail niggas, man. Speaking of prison and prison reform, you and Meek back at it again, back on Twitter. I'm going to just quote what he said, and then we could go from there. Meek just tweeted out earlier, what bank can I do music business with? The overhead on making music is low. Working on a project can cost up to $5 million for me, and one hit song can make $25 million like Going Bad did. Regular hits, $10 million at the low. We don't get data from labels. How much money each song made quarterly? How can you actually negotiate a deal if you don't know how much streaming in dollars monthly? Most of the times, artists get confused in business and lose their creative spark. So when I saw that, that was actually slightly coherent for once. I mean, usually meek tweets don't even be. Now, it, read was a, them it was it was it was a coherent quick tweet, but when I saw that, like I I had to draw a pause because it's like I, right, I know bro be around all these billionaire millionaire niggas like, and I would think by now, he would know the ins and outs. You know what I'm saying, or how to maximize his his profits on singles or whatever the case may be. So it kind of made me look at it like. Are these old? Are these rich white people really fucking with bro, or are they just like using it as a front for the prison reform shit? Or you know what I mean? Because you would think you would be able to get the connections and be able to segue whatever people you've mean in powerful places that can help change laws. You should be able to have them connect you with people in them banks that can help you get the the proper funding or whatever the case that you, you know what I mean that you might need to be successful with your singles moving forward. And obviously, you asking us like we can't help you. Yeah, I think I've gotten to the point now where I, I personally am starting to think that he, he he's not doing this. He's not really asking. He's he's posing it as a question, but he's just doing it to spark public discourse okay. about a bigger issue like labels. I guess he I guess he's feeling like labels got the monopoly on funding artists and shit like that or something. I don't really know what his what 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 exact discourse he's trying to push because I mean I'm not at that level of you know what I mean music business in the music. But I feel like he's trying to start a discussion somehow, some mm-hmm. about music, the music business. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't like, bro. Like, 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 why are you asking Twitter? Like, yeah, that's doesn't what make I no know. sense. You, you, you reaching out to Twitter for for lenders? That doesn't make any fucking sense. And he's fresh off, um, you know, he had a little spat, public spat with academics last week. I mean, yeah, yeah, he's trying to use money to blind us from his homo spit, from his homo spill. I don't know. Maybe it was from the homo rumors and the fact that he, the heathenism only did six thousand. Um. Sold six thousand albums. Uh, yeah. I mean, look, man, bad time. I think a lot of people didn't even touch his shit out of like just all sus rumors. Yeah, a lot of people didn't touch his shit. Me, the, the time was real bad for me, son. Me and, and and I ain't gonna lie, I definitely felt when the you way. heard the gay rumors. How how'd that make you feel? Look at him as an artist. You know, whatever, be. I yeah. them niggas is gay. Like whatever, be these okay. niggas is gay. Concrete. With the shit that that threw me off was when. The nigga Andrew Schultz goes stand up comedy, big arena in Philly, slams on mad gay jokes. Mm-hmm. Nigga laughs it off. Oh, uh, son, I uh, what? In person, I might have sworn him, but I uh, what, bro? You had you had gun talk for black niggas. Mm. For the black niggas that had something to say, you had gun talk, and all, and all they did was repeat well, what was who, who on was the on lawsuit. The yeah, they wasn't even clowning you. Mm-hmm. Fams is clowning you. Say you trying to release niggas out of prison to suck dick. Violated you. Talk crazy. Cra- Yo, he violated the nigga. That was crazy. And he laughed it off for the white boy. That shit is crazy he to had me. violence for act. I don't, I don't respect 
No black men that don't got static for every race, bro. If you if you don't be staticky with the black men and, and soft for white niggas, bro. I, I don't agree. jack that, bro. I don't jack that either. You have equal aggression and static for every race, bro. That's it. Real shit. Like, if you want to be on Ag Bumper, be on that white comedian Bumper for playing with your name like that. Like, be on everybody. Like, that's crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? AK ain't do nothing, but re 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 say what was on the on the lawsuit. Yeah. Then after after you 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 responded in the way you responded, then he started ODing on you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And at that point, it's all fair game. I think it's just going back and forth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, Meek is having a terrible week. But in fairness, I will say I listened to Heathenism name title with title of the the, the uh, EP is awful title too. Like mm -hmm. in the back of all the freaky horny shit, you come to name your shit Heathenism. Where are we going with this? Yeah, I don't know. You are you doubling down on your on your sick pervert shit, or what are you telling me? I don't know. Is you is you, you releasing a hidden message, bro? <laughs> the fuck. But I will say the music was fire. Like the music okay. I like the joints. I mean, it was five joints. Three of them was fire. That's 30. That's, 60%. That's 30. You That's know what I'm 30. saying? The other one was halfway fired up. One was trash to me. You know what I'm saying? So we had three and a half out of five. Three was and a half out of five was 30 in my book, bro. That's silent, Meek. So, you, like, he clearly, musically the music, still fire. Musically, you still fire. You know what I mean? Like, my man say, say, say trenches too much. Shit. Yeah. They say, say trenches too much. He should just stick to the music, man. Just keep <laughs> dropping, B. All the extra shit right now, like, let somebody take over the Twitter. Yeah, yeah, like I don't even want him to just tweet no more. Like, no more, why does bro. he tweet, bro? No more, bro. Cause he just be like talk, like he be rambling in his tweets. This should be weird. Like, yo, who was you? Shit, weird, bro. Yeah, we don't need you to tweet no more, my guy. The sun in the air, man. Whatever's in the air that got the tall niggas acting up, meek and free. Shit going left. You know what I'm saying? Up in that part of the atmosphere. I know you got some stones on over here too, my nigga. Pass on off. Oh nah, my shit I I can't even do it, bro. Like I can't even I don't got no extras. Huh? You see what type yo, of shit? Yo, and I, I had? yo, listen, boy, I sent one up for you. Yeah, you know I mean, my candle went brazen when you walked in my crib. I didn't want, you know what I mean? I'm like, yo, this shit going crazy. You definitely got something on him. You need to go to the lady immediately. But she gonna get you right though. She gonna, she gonna, she got all that for you. Matter of fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say you to the, uh, I know the botanica right there on Campbellton. Get you right. They got all the, all the, all the stones in there. Yeah, I need all that. All the like, candles immediately. Stones, <laughs> candles, all that, all of that. Yeah, you know I mean. You really, you really probably shouldn't even let it, let, let whatever tree she put that shit on you know that shit's working. She probably watch, gonna be watching this shit like, yo, I got him, finally. Fucking bitch. <laughs> I can't believe she put a spell on me, too. Like, she did me like that. You never know who they know, son. Another, yo, let's move. Uh, your man LeBron, like, he might have, they might, his, his wife Savannah might put some shit on him soon. soon. He keep playing around. You want punishment? With Jeannie busting with Jeannie, all that. And Jeannie and company and the, and the vice president lady. How International was Women's Day man. and all that. I mean, listen. LeBron's 6'8, 250 muscles. <laughs> Who are we talking about? It's LeBron. Bitches want to touch up on him. Yeah, you know I mean, can you blame him? You know what I'm saying? Old white lady. She probably had nothing What are you like going to do? Be like, yo, get the fuck off me, Genie. Yeah, what do y'all want him to do? And they probably had nothing like LeBron and, you know what I mean? Like, they like, they like, this shit's The goat can't turn the charm off. Like, what you yeah. want him to do? He's just naturally Rizzy, bro. Fuck it's you naturally what? Rizzy. Riz God, man. You got respect. It's LeBron, man. I'm sure Savannah's like, you know what? It is what it is. He's still nah, she looked tight, bro. She did look tight. She looked tight. It's embarrassing. But, I mean... What can she do and what can she probably, he do? She probably like, yo, she probably mad he even came to the, like, yo, bro, why you ain't stay home, bro? Like, I don't even want to be mad with you being like. And, it's, and it, honestly, probably what made her more mad is the fact that, just that it went viral. You know Because I mean? the internet is disgusting. Yeah, yeah, so the internet that added this hot sauce on it. Nobody would have cared if the internet wasn't paying attention. Yeah, if it been, nobody would have said nothing. But like you said, the internet made it hot. It went viral. Everybody that added their think pieces. Black women have tried them like, oh, they wilding. She see that shit. You know yeah, what I mean? facts. I, you know what's so and crazy, look, bro? Look, Bus look alright. I'm like, damn, I'll bust nah, her she shit. Is, nah, listen, she is a fire old white bitch. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I, she had to have work done. There's no way she's naturally yeah, just that like, fire. Yo, like, it's impossible. Like, right? No I'll way. She not have to. Shit. It's L.A. B. She not have facelifts and some more shit. B. It's yeah, no it way. No way. I've been Jeannie Bus old ass right over. Stop playing with me, Jeannie. <laughs> she's super up. I'm, super I'm up. Like, what are we talking? about? You know what I mean, so I mean, it's unfortunate for the James household, but I know they'll get through it. 
You know I, mean? I mean, yeah, I mean, that should be all right. Should you know, right. embarrassment is always the number one pet peeve of all shorties in a, in a committed relationship. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Nah, that's a fact. Um, speaking of which, in NBA niggas and Wallen, cousin Jalen Green has a baby on the way by Dre and Michelle. And is that Jaylen, her real last name? Is that like a stage name? I don't know. Who Drea? <laughs> Drea, the forty-year-old who has a son the same age, <clears throat> the son the same age as Jalen Green, has a baby on the way with Jalen Green, who's 21, 22. How do you feel about that? Uh, let me. Add, f- first of all. I just want to say, where are the old heads at? Like, where's his pops? Where's his big homies? Like, he I has no mean, family, apparently. Is that what it is? Apparently, he's been stripped for. He was taken away from his loved ones at an early age or something. He probably one of them niggas that got adopted by a white family in high school because his family was overwhelming and they like moved him into the suburb family mm-hmm. and like go had him like brought into the. You know what I'm saying something because he clearly, clearly has a lack of old heads. Like you said, there's no mentorship going on. There's no unk. There's no big homie. Like, for you to go seed in that is ridiculous. First of all, I still ain't forget when you was dry humping your teammate senior year, which Look, was ridiculous. I didn't want to go there, but now that we're here, we here. I went there. Yeah, that Look, was crazy. I truly believe deep down inside that man is whole mills. He's, this is a bid situation. This is a contract situation. Media control. Image spinning. You see they trade. They got rid of the nigga immediately. They got rid of the teammate immediately. Because he was on the, because they, it was a video of them together in high school when they was whole mills, but mm-hmm. they was on the same NBA team at the yes, time. Yes, yes. And they shit homie out of there immediately. Immediately when that shit hit, like, all right, nah, we not. Yeah, they got him out of there immediately, conservative, they in Texas, chill yes, out. Yes, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Know. And then homie immediately put you with the Instagram vixen Trish of all time and a baby in a month. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I get niggas want to go raw, but like, Dre, come on, bro. It's, like, I mean, look, bro, you can go raw all you want. There's no, you, babies aren't accidental. They yeah, When they happen, you, you dumped in there. Yeah, like you stayed in that joint. Like. It's not, not like niggas be trying to gas it like, oh, some dribble, some shit might have dribbled. No, bro, let's keep it real. You dumped in that shit, B. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like 95% of the time, you you live action dumped in it every drop, bro. Keep it so. Yeah. And he's out here dumping it, Dre and shit. Granted, that shit looks amazing. You know what I mean? You it probably think, yo. Good. As a young nigga, you probably want dumping it too. Yeah. He's fumbling though. He's blowing it. She's securing the bag. And she's a predatorial scumbag. She is. Let's call it for what it is. She's a predatorial scumbag. She's an evil predatorial scumbag whore. You know what I'm saying? Like what she did, she she just was like, yo, I'm gonna put an extendo on my life in the limelight. I'm gonna double back with this young nigga who's who's who whose life is Fucking on the other end of the spectrum of mine, mm-hmm. but he a star though, mm-hmm. so I can get the clout, get the lifestyle. Ah uh-uh, ah, as get his baby chat. mom. Let's make sure. Yeah. I'm gonna try to extend my 15 minutes of fame with the young nigga. Mm-hmm. I mean, I see the blueprint. I see the game. It's gross. It's definitely gross. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it tall. She failed that. She failed that actress. She failed that business. Men's Swim was a dub. Oh, it's over Men's Swim. When the last time you seen her promote that shit? You know what I'm saying? Oh. She wanted to be, she was, fed, she was on Fenty with Rihanna. Rihanna dubbed her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit got dark, man. Same. Might as well be a gay nigga's wife. Or not even wife, be, get, be a gay, be a baby, gay rich baby, nigga yeah, that you, you want. Marry, yeah, you just get the child support. That's that. I mean, you don't even need child support. He's like, he holding it down. He got a, he getting a, he got a brick. They together, it's all good. Oh, yeah, yeah. True. True. Shout out to International Women's Day. <laughs> Shout out to the woman. Isn't it Women's Month? I don't oh well it's the whole yeah, month the for them. Month. Yeah, Liddy. Shout out to the National they Women's Month. They got a longer month, month than we did. <laughs> yeah, they got a longer month than Black Month. Shout out to the Black joint to get the double up. Now that's hard though as a shorty. You like, yo, I got the double up with Black Black Month and then I go shorty yeah, I month. Go woman month. <laughs> <laughs> Liddy. Oh man. We're gonna pray for you, Jalen Green. Um, oh nah, he's cooked. Nah, he don't even need no prayer. It's over. It's over. He got an eighteen year bill. I mean, you lo- he's probably going to love his seed, so he's going to have a forever bill, but he got an 18-year bill to a whole tree. Mm-hmm. Who's well, probably going to be... Who's going to be fucking out? She's going to be fucking out. She's going to be, gonna 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 be taking a foreign years. entity's cock within three, three or three four, four years. Three or four years, 100%. Once, once she shoots the kid out, gets tired of the little nigga, well, she's going to be taking a different cock soon enough, bro. It's disgusting. It's the absolute truth. Full-blown sucky, but Jezebel spirit vibes, B. It's disgusting, but it's the truth. What can you do? What can you do? Bitches is terrible. Your cousin Jake Paul got a fight with Mike Tyson coming up. 
How you feel about How that? did that come about? Where did I don't that? Even know, bro. They got. Did you see the rules? It's not a regular fight. It's, it's like, like he, he can tag in out. his brother. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, time out. He can wear. He wear. He get to wear headgear. Yo, Jake Paul just is making a mockery of the sport. <laughs> but you know what? I can't even blame Jake because the heavyweight title division is shaky. Like. Plus Boxer made a mockery of itself. Yeah, you are not giving us the fights we really want. Yeah, and then so now Jake Paul said, "I'm here. Like I'm pull up on all the randoms, old celebrities, and we are gonna make a bag so y'all figure it out." Mike Tyson is pushing sixty, and they still having special rules for this nigga. Yo, I seen a nigga training, and he looked like he's still not gonna get head off. I mean, That's he's punching shit. way too hard. Yeah, he's punching for his hard age. Shit. Like uh, the impact is crazy. The impact is dumb. He's crazy. hitting the plastic shit well hard. It's like. Bah! Wow, that shit going crazy. I'm like, hold oh, on. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure Jake's seen that. Like, nah, we got to figure this shit out. Like, we got to get some stipulations. Like, you know what I mean? So, you think Mike is going to really fight or, or is he going to take the dive for Jake? I mean, I feel like niggas are taking the dive. I hope it's like a di- disqualification, B. They feel like they might go like uh, a weird disqualification, yeah, like it's draw, draw, no real, no real yeah, no outcome. Real yeah. Yeah. I want him to tag Jake shit a couple of times, but... He will. He going to boop him. He going to hit him a couple of times real hard. Like, like, real, bow, bow. Bow. Stop playing, stupid. Stop playing, dumbass. Like, this, this is real shit. Don't fucking play with me. What's up with, um, like, all the fight events turning into, like, being, like, full-blown mega conventions now? Like, it's, like, full-blown conservative right-wing co- conventions. Like, the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight is going to be a right-wing convention. I mean, Trump going to be there. Trump fuck with all of them niggas. He fuck with UFC. He fuck with the fight and shit. Like, he yeah. tapped in. You the know Sugar what Shane the Sugar Shane fight over the weekend, he was in there He was in there heavy. Who, Trump? Yeah. Oh, word. Sean O'Malley fight, he was in there. That shit turned straight MAGA. Joe Burrow was in the building. <laughs> my son, Joe Cool. <laughs> You know the Yo, you know they got tight. Cool. You know the people was upset. Joe Cool was in the building like what? With Trump? Oh, they was hating. But he ain't like flick up with Trump. He was just in the building like he like UFC. What you want? Look, man, you can't even be in the same building. If as you Trump. a lit white man, you got to be at the UFC fight. You I'm got sorry. to. You got to. And I might take a fl- I might take a flip with Trump. Take it how you want. Fuck. What are you gonna do? Is Trump is Trump the most finger on the post of the culture? Yeah, hundred percent. He's at SneakerCon. Like, what are we talking about? He went sneakers. He's at SneakerCon. Like, he's most lit, bro. Yeah. He's 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 got his ears to the concrete. Yeah, you know I mean? know cool white culture more than any more than any other uh like presidential nigga out here. That's for sure. He he might be closer to the concrete than Obama was. Whoa. Yeah, I'm ready to go there. For real Obama shit. had to purposely un, un like un untie himself in the concrete though. Or he's gonna be like, yo, he's too much of a nigga, we can't do it. I mean, I get what you're saying, but I just feel like Trump got his finger on the post. Obama made rap and basketball cool. Ah, that's a lot, baby. Facts. Mainstream? He put a basketball court in the in the, in the White House. Ah, right, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I mean, but Trump went sneakers, B. Like, that's big. But Trump got sneakers. <laughs> like, 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 like niggas love shoes. Niggas <laughs> niggas like sneakers, bro. Niggas yo. can say what they want. Niggas like Secure sneakers, the yeah. black vote with sneakers is crazy. And it, it, it's crazy, but it's true. I'm I'm there's a small demographic of niggas that's gonna vote for Trump because he dropped shoes. Yeah. I promise you. Like, yeah. Niggas, some niggas are that fickle. So Yeah. It is what it is. If you don't if you really don't give a fuck, a fire shoe will definitely change everything up yeah, for you. Yeah, like why he went shoe. My son got a shoe. Like, what are we talking about? My kind of guy. My kind of guy. <laughs> Let's do a quick segue. Let's talk about it. What happened? Akira Toriyama died, creator of Dragon Ball Z. I think you fucked his name con- up. How I say it? Did I, did I, did I, Is it Akira or Akira? Let's make sure. Let's, let's get, get his name right. right. Let's get his name he's right. He's dead. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I know it's Akira, Akira, but I'm going to make sure I got the pronunciation. Uh, I'm going to just say Akira Toriyama. Fuck it. We got no breaking news, so we'll get that in the sports section. But Akira Toriyama, created Dragon Ball Z, died. Um, big part of a nigga childhood. Let's start there. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm not, like, I don't fuck what nobody say. I was a Dragon Ball Z nigga. I was rushing to get home. I wanted to see how long they was going to drag out. Uh, you know what I mean? A fight, it might take about three weeks, but it was lit. Uh, my favorite Dragon Ball Z moment. I got, like, three. I got two. Three. The first one... Is when let's pick one B. You don't have three moments. B. Damn, why well, I, I said going favorite two. moment and you go three moments. I'm going two, bro. two that stand out. Damn, it's my two. 
Listen, my first one, Gohan, Cell Saga, Father, Son, Kamehameha, <laughs> lit, packed them up, walked them down with one arm, stopped playing with I them. I couldn't believe they beat Cell. I, what? I didn't think they was going to ever beat Cell. Them. Cell was, was terrorizing them. them niggas. What? Them niggas, they had no answers for Cell. And then when, when my man Goku went Super Saiyan 3 against Majin Buu, I'm like, oh, he different. Nigga, hair was all long and shit. I'm like, he on timing right now. Those is my top two. But yeah. that Gohan and... um. Goku, father, son joint was serious. You know what I mean? Because like you said, Cell was terrorizing them niggas. They didn't have they no were. answers for, for Cell at all. Yeah, facts. He was like, you know what I mean? I, I was like, I don't think I'm going to beat that nigga. You know what I mean? And they got it done. Got to go on. Facts. What about you? Where you saying that? What, what Dragon Ball Z mean to you? Uh, When they when they, when they Goku beat Frieza and, and blew the up Planet time? Namek and all that. Okay, okay. The, yeah, the first time before he came back with Robot, Robot and all that. With the Android, yeah. 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 That shit was fire. That was lit. Honestly, I'm about to go back and watch like some of the old free because I remember I started watching Dragon Ball Z like freezing and like from then on, but like because it was so long ago, a lot of shit yeah. is just like vague to me. So I'm gonna go back and watch the old episodes. Yeah, I didn't really fuck with all the newer shit like Super and all yeah, that. I niggas was going that. blue hair and all that. I ain't and all get into all of that. I ain't really <laughs> get jiggy with all of that. Niggas was getting it was just getting ridiculous. After like the Boo Saga, like I was like, all right. Yeah, you know I mean, like yeah. a little bit of Dragon Ball GT, you know what I mean, here and there. Yeah, it was getting shaky. But it was just a lot going on. But like the main from Freezer to Boo, it locked me in. Them niggas used to take eight months to fight one nigga. One nigga, big what? Nigga might take two episodes just to go Super Saiyan. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know I mean, nigga then, be powering up the whole episode. And then once, and then once they finally defeated whoever. It might have took a month before they found another nigga to fight. Found another nigga. It just be mad, <laughs> random, corny, like day to day shit. Like niggas buying, getting sensu beans and shit. Like training, like yo, I'm like yo, where's the next nigga at? B? Yo, bro. Oh my god, that show was that, hilarious, b. That little break after they beat a nigga until they yeah. found the new villain was crazy. You my be son like, yo. Goku would die and take eight months to come back, figure out how to get back to the the Earth realm. Nah, that's a he fact. Was just training in, in the spirit realm, fighting niggas, and just take mad long to get back, not really know what's happening. <laughs> that shit was crazy, bro. Nah, that, that was a funny was show. Niggas just dragging it online, though. Can we stand up? What? Like, I get it, homie pass and all that. Shout out to him. Mm -hmm. RIPs and all that. But niggas just dragging it now, B. I mean, you know that the anime niggas is like a real, real, like, The solid. internet is ODing, bro. I think oh, niggas doing it for base. clout, bro. Some niggas really take that and take that anime shit serious. And Dragon Ball for niggas like us, we fuck with Dragon Ball Z. We like you know regular niggas, but it's some niggas that's like really anime Dragon Ball Z out. Niggas is poses, bro. <coughs> we was actual growing kids when this shit came out. Like yeah. we was like Going at through that it. age. Like you know what yeah. I'm saying? I mean, if you fucking. 23 now acting like you fucked up over Dragon Ball Z, you're full of shit. You're dragging it. You're a poser. Okay. I mean, so I'm just saying, so that for the niggas that's like our age, they might have really touched their spirit. All right. I, I, can, like I, can I give you one tweet. I give you a tweet. I give you an Instagram post or whatever. But the, some niggas just dragging it. Some bro. niggas is going overboard. You, do it for, you engagement farming. Like, do you care that much, bro? Who's your favorite character? Mine was Vegeta. I'm just going to say that. Lovable loser? Yeah. Crazy. Because he was always, because you knew he was always going to go give us all. And he didn't give a fuck who it was. And he wasn't scared of niggas. A lot, like, see, Goku was fired to me because he was always raping niggas, but I didn't like his disposition early on. Like, all that goofy, friendly shit was yeah, corny. Yeah, he was too goofy and corny. But, for like, me. later on, when he got on we his, he got, he got a little more grimy later on in the show. Like, he just started to get on some real, like, I just, I murk shit shit. That's when I was fucking with him. Okay. Then, like, um, What's, what's the name? Like when Kid Trunks, when they, when they was kids? Yeah. I fuck with Kid you Trunks. Like kid kid Trunks? Trunks is hilarious. You ain't like Teenage Trunks? Huh? You ain't like Teenage Trunks when he was running around with the sword? Nah, nah, that's fire too. But I'm saying Trunks in general, but like Kid Trunks when he was fucking around with Kid Gohan and they was, not Kid Gohan, Goku's like his littlest son. Yeah, Goten. Yeah. yeah. That's when they was getting busy. They when they was going, uh, when they used to do the dance and turn the Gotenks. Turns the Gotenks. And they yeah, get that super was crazy. Yeah. Them, them two little niggas get busy. I ain't like, I ain't gonna front. Nah, they got busy. Shout out to Gotenks. When they did their fusion dance, that was fire. You know what I mean? And shout the, not even shout out, but for shame on, uh, I'll, I'll never forgive uh, Chi Chi for, for making Gohan stop being a fighter and going to college. Yeah, and then like, he, got mad, mad corny, he got mad like, soft. He got mad soft and corny God, after he came after Gohan he beat Cell. so corny at the Cell, B. I thought he was going to be one of them ones. And I'll never like, forgive Chi Chi for that shit. Yeah, they definitely made him extra corny and soft. That shit blew my mind. I'm like, you got wild potential to be elite, and they just yeah. did this corny shit.
Take that in. Take that in. Uh, you know what I mean? No, fellas, don't let your wife soften your son up. At all. You know what I mean? You want to get into the drip? Come back second half on them? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get into the drip. Um, <laughs> So if you don't know, every week, you know what I'm saying? Well, every episode, we got what we call the World Flea Report, the Drip Report. I know last couple of times I might have highlighted some Adidas. I want to stick there. I want to shout out to the James Harden, B. You know what I mean? Like, I know niggas don't want to hear it, but, like, Adidas basketball is doing a one-two step right now, B. Like, the James Hardens is fire. They comfortable. They don't look like nothing else. You can say Yeezy. You know what I'm saying? Left his drawings over there. <laughs> I don't care. They fire to me. They got minimal Adidas, like, symbols on them, so it's just really about the shoe. And they comfortable, you know what I mean? You can walk around them, you can play ball in them. So I'm just still, we still on Adidas basketball. Shout out to Adidas basketball. Y'all doing y'all fucking thing. The AE ones was fire. I highlighted those before. I'm shouting out the Hardens this time. And that's what's up. Even the Dang Lillard joints is decent, you know what I mean? So whatever they doing over there, they doing the right thing. So shout out to Adidas basketball. They got some some some, some good feet pieces. I got to say that. I must say. Fuck all of them niggas, kicks. <clears throat> The Kyrie's is harder than all of them shits. Yo, shout to the Kyrie's. The the and the joints. The those Kyrie's shits is, is hard. harder than all of them. Yo, shits. the Kyrie shits is hard. I'm glad you brought those up. The Kyrie's is hard too. Are we seeing like a small resurgence? And like basketball the, sneakers. Yeah, basketball yes, we are. Okay. Yes, Remember we you are. First. Quiet is kept. Quiet is kept. Because the Kyrie's is fire as shit. Yes, I ain't they gonna are. lie. They definitely are. I like the colors. I'm starting I like to see different symbol. colorways. I'm jacking them. I might oh, get you a seen pair. Different joints? Yes. See, I, I, I only seen I seen the orange and the gray. That's the only ones I ain't really seen. Seen a couple colors. I sent through the purple pinkish joints already. I gotta I'm, I'm got looking through those. Some, he got some black shits. I'm I like, think I seen the black shits. Kyrie got, Kyrie some, got shit. some shits. Kyrie got some shits. Kyrie shits is sturdy. I'ma stand up. I, I, I support woke Kyrie. I'm here for it. I might get a pair. <laughs> Shout out to Woke Kyrie, man. Yeah, me, Chief Healer. Face ass. <laughs> Yo, we coming back second like half. You already know Saquon to Philly. I don't know what they're doing. Kirk to Atlanta. It's Russ NFL resigned. free agency day. Yeah, it's, it's free agency day. We're going to get into all of that shit. You already know we'll be right back. Holla. Yo. 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 We, yo. we back. We back. We kicking off the second half like we do every second half with at least scumbaggery. This week's. Oh, now, hold up. First, at least scumbaggery is when. You know what I mean? Somebody does some scumbag shit. They pull it off in elite fashion, so we got to shout them out. This week's elite scumbag. It's a little change of pace. This week's elite scumbag is your man, Drake. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving Drake elite scumbag this week. He didn't do nothing business-wise or nothing. But he's back up to his horny antics. You know what I'm saying? He's running around with Lotto's, uh, with Lotto's little sister. You know what I'm saying? He's on his horny, horny, horny antics with the young Drake. He's out of pocket. <laughs> he's he's overly wilding, and like at this point, it's like, yo, why is he on a mission to clap every joint first? You know what I'm saying? Can you blame him? I I mean, I guess, but if that's what you're into, like, but yeah, at least come back of the week. It's some scumbag shit. He's pulling off in elite fashion, but I gotta shout him out. You know what I mean? She's fire. Like, don't get it fucked up. She's he's a very pretty fire. young joint. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Drake is on Demon Time. He's on a mission to clap everything first. So it seems. So it seems. At least come back of the week, man. Moving on. We got to get some sports shit. shit. A lot of niggas is wilding, man. Did you see the women's college basketball shorties fighting? They had a little bro, LSU versus USC. It was a little dust up. Little I want to call up. it a full born bro. But the one joint, the one joint's brother came over the came over the scorer's table. Yeah, looking for smoke. What was she? What was he thinking? Who was he gonna fight? A bunch I, of bitches. I guess he felt like the shorty who pushed his system was so big that he could intervene because she was about six eight. And you seen what Kim Oki said? Like, I wish she would have pushed uh. Angela Angel Reese instead of Floor J, you know what I mean? Which was kind of shocking. Like I thought she was gonna go like the classy route. She was like, nah, why you ain't push our big player? You know what I mean? I mean, we know why she pushed her because she was the one that initiated the contact to begin with, and the beef yeah. was with her. Like, come on now, it's not gonna say why he pushed her, why she pushed her. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I know what you're saying, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm just reporting what Kim Monkey was saying. Fight night shit. Yeah, honestly. That was deplorable statement from the coach of LSU. That was crazy. We don't condone, like, 
if if a black coach would have said that, dude had a head on a stick. Had if, a Don head Staley, on a stick. if Don Staley would have took that approach to the situation, it would have been all vitriol for her all throughout oh, the airwaves okay, she's a and all dog. that. What? Can Moki been... get to say that shit and just get looked at as a white bitch with some spunk? With some spunk. Like, That's oh, bullshit. Yeah, she's a... Look at her. She's That's tough. Bullshit. Yeah, that, yeah, I don't like that either. I call for Kim Moki's job. Fuck out of here. Oh, already? Damn. Yeah. Fresh off You're not shit. winning anyway. I mean, they won last year. Don't Staley styling on you back to back undefeated. Back to back undefeated. With a whole new star lineup, better coach than you. Yeah, and then y'all picked up the other white girl that's supposed to be nice on LSU. So it's like, what are y'all doing over there? What are y'all really doing over there? Um, yeah, the brother was wilding because it's like, all right, bro, I get it. You know what I mean, but we're not in the streets. We're not at the playground. Like he did too security. much. And he, he's doing and too much. And now he has to go back to. Now he has to go to court. Now he has to go to court. Now he has like to pay me. for an attorney. <laughs> not like me, you gotta go to an attorney mm-hmm. now. They say Dumb she. Shit. They say he 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 lunged over the score scores table and put his hands over somebody. Put his hands stepped on a bitch and put his hands on another bitch by accident. So it's over. Slow down. That's an assault, champ. Yeah, unfortunately, it is. So you gotta relax. I mean, I get it. It's your sister. You want to be there for her. You want to make sure she Gucci. But like, you gotta relax, bro. Like, you have to. You have to know to relax. So, I mean, you gotta exercise some type of discernment. It's you know women's bad as chicks, bro. There's yeah. some chicks on the court. What was you gonna do? Because they know. told you was gonna square up with them and beat on them. <laughs> <laughs> what was you doing? What was you thinking? Bro, was wilding or nah? For sure. He was definitely wilding. Um, sure, a lot of football sure. free agency going on. Yeah, football is the first day of free agency. The niggas are signing up. Let's start with your team. Y- y'all pulled up on Saquon. How do you feel? Horrible decision. Oh, you don't like it? Horrible decision. I wouldn't give a. I wouldn't spend top dollar on a used up nigga. You feel me? Like, okay. it's like you, you, you. I don't know. I mean, he's fired. It's like, yeah, like the, I mean, like, I don't I, just I, shit on him. But like, we gonna are we gonna pay new car prices for a Rari with eighty thousand miles on it? I mean, when you put it like that, I get what you're saying. But again, I don't think that it was a bad pickup. You know what I mean? But they what they paid for him was ridiculous. What they give him? Some crazy? Some all time shit. You know wow. what I'm saying? Like, like big bag. Like, you big know what I'm saying? Big bag them. Like, I'm never mad he, at a nigga. I think he's the, one of the, the top paid or top three paid running backs in the league right now off that deal. I'm not mad at niggas getting their bag. I mean, get your bag, Saquon. Yeah, I mean, yeah, whatever. The Giants should have paid them. Also, nigga shit. shit, get your bag, whatever. But I'm talking about as far as the team that I like, what I want them to do with the with the with the limited budget that they had to spend, that was a terrible decision. My team got rid of Tony Pollard, and I'm happy about that. He's not a first down back. You know what I mean? He's like the second or third string back. They like they sent him to the Titans. You know what I mean? So good riddance. You know what I mean? Thank you for your services, but it didn't work out. Like everybody's not built to be a, a um, every down back. Like some niggas is built to be third down backs, and that's what you are. Like we tried to put you on the run first. You know what I mean, we gonna start to drive with you, but it didn't work out. So, sayonara. Who do y'all have over there? Y'all offense started look ridiculous. It's just it's you. It's Dak. Yeah, I mean, it's just Dak the city. Derek Henry. Like we got. We, we gonna figure it out. It's still early. It's still early. Your cousin Josh Jacobs went to the Packers. I liked him on the Raiders. You know what I mean. Even though the Packers already got a couple niggas over there. So I like that move for them, though, still. Yo, I'm not going to lie. If it's me, I'm not going up there to Green Bay, blood. Like, what? With nothing? Yo, my nigga, it's negative five degrees. You going to get out there, shit. first hit, negative five degrees, you going to fumble. You going to be tight. Yeah. Josh Jacobs ain't never played in no cold weather nothing. True. Like, Indeed. what, fam? You not think, bro, you went to Alabama, you went to Oakland, to Vegas, you never played in no cold weather before, bro. You just going to pull up the Green Bay like it's sweet? Yeah, I'm not trying to play nowhere in the NFC. You bro. not built like that, boy. The first time it's negative four and you and they hit you and you fumble the shit and then they call you soft, then what? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. Listen, I mean, I'm like I said, I'm just advocating for niggas getting paid. You know what I mean? Now, whether or not he's just going to succeed in said climate. That yeah, we talking about seen. niggas getting succeeding or not, B. Yeah, these niggas got paid. They free agents. It is what it is, B. But, um, so yeah, you don't like that for him. I, I don't I agree. know. I agree. How you feel about Russell signing to the Steelers? Russell Wilson to the Steelers. Where you stand with that? It's uh-uh. an upgrade. If anything's an upgrade from Kenny Pickett. Let's start there. Let's yeah, it's definitely an upgrade at the quarterback position for the Steelers. I mean, I he see played. where Russ is going, the the, the, the sanctity of, of Mike Tomlin, the, the protective arms and blanket of Mike Tomlin. Yeah. He's going he's gonna hold he's gonna have your back yeah, he in is. public. You know what I'm saying? He's not gonna violate you he's like not how gonna violate Sean him. Payton did him. 
Yeah, exactly. And at the end of the day, he's going to give you the black man power, black hug, from guard him from the, you know what I mean? He's going to do the big bear, take the arrows in the back from the media. You know what I mean? Sierra going from Denver to Pittsburgh is like, wow, nasty. She's just, <laughs> she's pissed off. <laughs> she's pissed off. She can't get a break. Yo, Seattle. At least it was illegal weed Denver in Denver. until fucking Pittsburgh, and I've been to Pittsburgh, and that's like Horrible. really dry. Especially if you're a celebrity. Like, it was dry for me as a regular nigga. I was like, I yeah. got the fuck out of here, B. Yeah. Like, this shit is a dub. Yeah. Y'all thought Pittsburgh niggas, but like, nah, I'm not, I could never live there. At least it's legal weed in Denver, B. At Pittsburgh least. is like, what? But yeah, Pittsburgh is nasty, B. And then at least, like you said, with Denver, like, you kind of close to LA. It's not that far, but like, Pittsburgh is just like. Yeah, I ain't remember. gonna lie. If I'm her, like, yo, you have to leave me and the kids where we at, B. You gonna have to go, <laughs> you have to go do that on your own. Like, just take the flight back. Or, or pack send niggas to New York. That ain't too far a flight from. Cause I mean, what? You know I mean? Cause yeah, Pittsburgh is nasty work. That's crazy. Kirk pulled up over here to Atlanta. How you feel about that? The Falcons don't care. They don't care. They got nigga like, a bunch of money too off the Achilles. Four Falcons four don't eight. care yeah. at all. Like they just on some good old boy shit. We just need a white man at the court. Just need a white boy. No matter it's what. It's Matt Ryan two point You stole that for me, but whatever. Did bro. I? All right. Well, oh well. This happens. Like, first. at the end of the day, it's like Kirk guarantees you're never going to miss the playoffs and you're never going to win a championship. Never win a chip. It's the same shit. He's pushing 40. Off an Achilles. Off a torn Achilles. And you give him damn near 200 million. Yeah, like, yeah. 100 of that guaranteed. Crazy. Kirk has gotten some of the best contracts for just being a, like, a little slightly above average quarterback. Like, he cashes out. Okay. <laughs> what? This is what I tell niggas all the time, B. It's one thing about the NFL. If you're if you're a decent white player, you'll never have to argue about your money. Ever. They pay that shit immediately. You don't never have to and hold don't be out. Like a white player that's like a family man and like just like real like good old boy. Yeah. Oh my God, they are gonna set you out for sure. You see, Max Crosby got a super bag. He didn't have to hold out. He didn't have to discuss nothing with niggas. Mm -mm. Chris Jones finally just got paid. Yeah, he's like, like, like he ain't contributed. He had to checks. dominate the Super Bowl. Yeah, like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, happy he got paid though. Shout to him. Shout yeah. to him. But yeah. like, you see it time and time again. Any above average white man gets the bag. No, no discussion. No holdout. No. Attacks on his character, no maybes, no if ands, or buts. Mm -hmm. Bag. Yeah, nah, I agree. Every I agree. time. Every time. They always get set out. It's Why like, was there no question? He's off a fresh ACL tear. There was more talk about Lamar Jack's possible durability. Yes. There was yes. When Lamar Jack shit was in the air, yo, I don't know if he can hold up. Is he durable? Ah, ah. Nigga's fresh, healthy. This nigga is Kirk 40 Cousins years fresh old, off ripping off, like, his shit apart. Ripping his shit apart, bro. Like, what are we talking about? But it is what it is. It's just go back to the old saying, you know, when you black, you gotta work two times as hard. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to bring light to the fact that the racism, the racism should have still here. Oh yeah, it ain't going nowhere. It's definitely still here. The double standard is wow crazy. Your cousin Baker resigned for a hundred for Tampa Bay. Stop so the Baker. And Mike, him and Mike is gonna be there. He had a great season last he year did, for him. He did. He did. Got to the Yofties. I mean, I'm not mad at Baker. I'm not mad at Baker at all. You know what I'm saying? Won the division, got to the Yofts. Yeah, I mean, he, that's a good redemption story. Niggas thought it was over for Baker, especially after the Panthers. That yeah. debacle in Carolina was nasty. Yeah. He said, you know what? I'm going to bet on myself. Yeah. And he did right. it. And he, he got paid. He got right. At the end of the day, if I'm the buck, I don't want to give Baker 100, but where do I go? I was just about to say that. Like, it's like, yeah, I don't really want to get bigger dollar, but it's like, where else are we going to go? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I don't know what their draft position in or what assets they have to move up, yeah. but it's like, fuck it, B. They had a position, though. Give him some bread and find a draft, draft a nigga in the meantime. Mm -hmm. See what happens. See what happens. That's all they could do. Patriots said we're, we're all set on the Mac Jones experience. Send that nigga to J Jacksonville. We've, we've seen enough. Oh, wow. So what does that mean for Trevor Lawrence? I don't know. They're trying to give him some heat. It's like, you need some competition. It, like, yo, he needs some competition. It, you know, it's funny because they pulled up, put up the numbers. I'm like, last year Trevor was ass. So it was like kind of like, Yeah, yo, he fell like, off so hard. Like, like so somewhere hard. like the eighth or ninth game, somewhere in the middle of the season, he fell off crazy. It was just nasty. I was like, what's this nigga doing? Yeah, so like bad. you said, like, I don't know if that was a little fire under his ass paws or what. But yeah, they sent him to Jacksonville. Justin Fields still looking for a trade. The Bears looking for a trade. Talk. Are they going to trade him or are they going to build around him? What do you think the Bears should do, honestly? I think they should trade the pick. Trade the pick and just build around the nigga? Hell yeah. Yeah, that's what I would do. 
That's what I would do. Caleb yeah. Williams isn't that good. He isn't, bro. Like, he's nice, he's but not, he's, he's not, high, not that but nice. But he's not. Niggas was acting like he's Mahomes. If he was that great, he'd be winning these games in college. It's, these niggas, like, what were they, like, damn near 500 football yeah, team? Yeah. Like, bro, it's college. college. It's not, it's not, like, it's college, bro. If you can't will your team to victory in college, I, why am I talking to you? Yeah, it's fire, bro. What? I'm going to give my number one pick to a nigga that could have willed his team to victory in college. Like, you ain't even make it to the college football playoff. Like, like what are we talking about? Like, you ain't even win your fucking The nigga Pettix went damn near undefeated. Exactly. He ain't lose to the last game, championship. And they talking, and he not. They don't even got him in the top ten. Exactly. I don't, like, what, make it make sense. That shit don't make no sense to me. You need the Derrick Henry still a free agent. Where you think he's going to end up? Um, mm, man, I... That's a good question. Who needs a running back the most? Me, the Cowboys, and the Ravens. Oh, yeah. I, I, the Ravens would be fun. Just to put up with the L. Jack. This is to, just to terrorize niggas. Yeah, exactly. That would be hilarious. That would be a good one. Yeah. That would be a good one. But, I mean, what does it matter? What, well, why would the Ravens even get running backs if you're just going to get to the playoffs and stop running the ball? <sighs> don't, don't, please don't remind me. Like, what's the point of getting a running back? Fuck it. Please don't please. even have one on the team then. If that's what we're going to do, get to the playoffs and just stop using them niggas. Yeah, that was like I don't I don't understand the game plan. I don't know what John Howard was doing. Like I don't understand why they did that against the Chiefs. Like why would we stop running the ball? We've been successful all year. Like the fuck. I'm gonna get mad on that one, man. Make it make sense, man. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. I just wanted to make some sense, B. That shit still stings me, B. It stings me too. The streets needed that. Yeah, we did. Uh it is what it is. Or you want to get into next? We want to go with it. Uh, is there any more sports? Anything else we need to cover? Did we miss somebody? Miss uh, who? I, don't know. I feel like we covered all the big name free agents for the most part. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anything in basketball going on? You want to make any early, early, early uh, playoff predictions since we're in March? I know Minnesota's not going anywhere. You don't believe them? Do you believe OKC? No. So first round access for both of them? Yeah. Do you believe Milwaukee? Are they gonna come along or no? It's a second round exit. Milwaukee. Who's Milwaukee, who's Milwaukee playing in the first round? They would play the Knicks right now. Oh no, they're not beating the Knicks. Oh, you don't believe them against the Knicks? Not beating the Knicks. Healthy Knicks. They got a lot of niggas hurt. I mean, they got time to come back. True. Yeah. Milwaukee. Oh no, no. Hold on. Milwaukee would have to see Indiana. They'll pack them. They'll pack Indiana. Huh? They'll pack Indiana in the first round. In the second round, they had to see the Knicks or Orlando. And I think the Knicks are going to win. I don't. I mean, Orlando, of course, isn't going to go anywhere in the playoffs. It takes time to go anywhere in the playoffs. That's why I automatically discredit young, a young team in the playoffs. I automatically dub it. Yeah. Now, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. you think the Lakers going to make a deep run again this year? Nah, man. It's Quiet over. time. It's over, man. I'm like I don't believe in D'Lo. Oh shit! You seen this movie before? A D'Lo, D'Lo, my starting point guard, deep playoff run. Nah, I'm cool. That doesn't sound like a winning, winning um combination. Nah, I feel you. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Like it just doesn't. I wouldn't have made that move. I mean, I wouldn't. Have, I I would have made the move to make sure I got rid of him. Like he's good, but he's not. Deep playoff. Yeah, he's not deep playoff good. He's gonna he's gonna start nothing up in a crunch on type of shit, but he's not mm-mm. Nah, I feel you. I ain't doing that. It's still early though. Maybe he might be a new deal though. He said he he said all the public humiliation, he's turned into a monster. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh shit. That's what's up. You know what I mean? That's what's up, boy. Should we get into our favorite segment? We could do it. We could do the damn thing. So listen up, people. Every episode we got, well, you know, our namesake is We're All Set. And here at We're All Set, every episode we talk about, we close the episode basically explaining what we're all set on, what we're not feeling no more, and what we're good on. You know what I mean? Um, you want to start it off? What you all set on, Rich? Um, I'm all set on two things. Talk to me. We already spoke about one. I'm all set on Dredd. She's an evil tree. Mm-hmm. And I'm all set on the U.S. Congress. <laughs> there needs to be an age limit on serving on public servitude. Y'all niggas is too old, bro. Fact. Watch Joe Biden State of the Union. I didn't watch it. I, I didn't watch it. I saw clips. So clips of Joe Biden State of the Union. 
He's too fucking old. Everybody in that room is too fucking old. Yeah. It's like it's like being at a senior citizens convention, bro. I'm looking around. They panning around the room. All these old white people, old black people, dead. They're not even your mother's age. They're your grandmother's age, bro. Yeah, yeah. You feel These me? Niggas is mad old. They're bro. mad old. Extremely old. Like they look like they need what's that shit? Medic with the medic bracelet shit they be having. The, uh, the if if you might fall if you I fall. I had that shit in the hospital, man. I know exactly what you. Like yo, about. if you might fall, they caught. They know they got all your vitals right there. Like if you slip and fall, they got you type shit. Like everybody in the room need one of them joints, b. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like, we have to put an age limit. We have to. There has to be a law. Just like you have to be a certain age to become these people, you have to have a certain age where you have to bow out, B. Nah, I feel you. The, co- the, 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 the cognition of your brain doesn't click the same after a certain age. It's scientific, B. I don't care how 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 good you think you still could keep your shit up, B. <laughs> your brain don't start clicking the same after a certain age, B. I feel you, bro. I can't have niggas that's gonna die in five years de- de- determining the next forty. Yeah, yeah, this is it's it's it's, it's egregious. Like niggas, like Biden, like you're not physically fit. Sorry, it don't make sense, me. What you all set on, bro? I'm all set on Rice Street. Um, <laughs> I just felt like for them niggas, for all the money Atlanta got, like they gotta do something, be like. I thought that after one of the um inmates. So it was an inmate that died in Rice Street from bed bug infestation, infestation, and he basically got ate alive. And I thought that would be a wake up call, but clearly it's not. It's still disgusting. They give a niggas food that's worse than slave food that you wouldn't give to your dog. It's filthy as fuck. It's cockroaches around themselves. And the shit is just foul and nasty. And now I'm not advocating for these niggas to have first class suites for criminals, but like just basic, decent conditions. Be like that shit it did. It takes too long to incake to process people, to process you in, to process you out. The whole right street needs the whole revamping. So I'm all set on them niggas. And yeah. that's where I'm at. I'm going to throw a party today. They knock that shit down. Yeah, there we go. Even better. Knock that shit the fuck down. But listen, man, we appreciate y'all tapping in. We're going to double back. Ace, I know we missed a couple weeks and all that. We got another episode coming up real soon, a few days. Look for it. You already know. Rich here, free here. Holla at us, man. Uh-uh.